Hello, 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 and welcome, my Taurus Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to your What Do I Need read for this full moon. Uh, sorry, I keep doing that. This <laughs> new moon in Virgo to a full moon in Aries, uh, September into October 2020. I am your reader, Mark Angela Lyons, Mal for short, professional witch, professional intuitive. Uh, president of Drawing the Circle Productions, Mark Angelo Lyons, the Archangel of Lyons, but you can call me now. Hi, <laughs> my fellow Earth signs, Virgo, uh, son that I am. Always glad to help an Earth sign. Yesterday was my birthday, Virgo, that I am. Back to work on Labor Day, because that's the way I roll. Don't we, Earth signs? I mean, we really are hard workers. But that's okay. I mean, the Zodiac would be chaos without us. So welcome, welcome, welcome. And welcome back, my subscribers. Thank you so much for all the birthday wishes and the love, the likes, the subscribes, sharing my work. Um, I know the What Do I Need reads, the Lunar reads, do not get as many likes as the Twin Flames and Soulmates, but I don't care. I love them. It's sort of me at my best as spiritual teacher and uh, you know, reader, just kind of bringing through the data that comes through and spiritual counseling and all of that. It's such a field day for me, so I hope you really do enjoy it. And if you are new to my channel and you do enjoy it, enjoy it please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment. That apparently seems to be the formula that gets people to see your work. I am monetized, so every little bit helps professional witch that I am. Cool, cool. Let's get down to business. We are looking at a specific timeline here from uh, the uh, 17th of September when the moon goes new in Virgo at 7 a.m., but it only stays in, in Virgo for another 42 minutes. It goes void, of course, 7.42 p.m. This is all Eastern Daylight Time. Yes, we will we be daylight time? Yeah, yeah, we'll still be daylight time at that point. October 1st, it'll it'll go uh, uh, savings time later in the month of October. Um, so if you can wait until like 3 p.m., it goes into Libra if you want to do your intentional work. Otherwise, yeah, it's really hard. You're going right from dark moon. You got 40, like 42 minutes of new moon in Virgo and then void. So it's just how it is this time around. Uh, but from that new moon to the full moon in Aries, which is October 1st, and it's the blood moon. Ugh. 2020, come on, man. <laughs> Fucking break. That's a lot. Uh, and uh, that is at 5.03 p.m. on a Thursday, which is not that bad, right? If you want to kind of do uh, your magical stuff, uh, that's not a bad time. We can just add a work depending on, on what your schedule is. But then we also have a blue full moon on Halloween. <laughs> why, 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 why? Samhain for me is usually a week later. I wait until the sun hits um hits 15 degrees Scorpio before I do my serious Samhain uh, work as a solitary, uh, but certainly Halloween is Halloween. Just, I'll be staying in. Um, so I guess that's about it. Uh, remember, it's a general read. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Check your other signs because this could be about romance, this could be about business, it could be about anything because we are doing an 11 card draw on this one. You'll see. Let's see, I wrote it down. We've got four oracles, four oracle cards, uh, six tarot cards, and one mantra card. Gee, what could that be? The Macon Healing Mantra deck because it's it's the tits. It's really wonderful. Technically not a divination system or an oracle. It is a healing tool, so let's get down to it. We're going to start with the angels, gods, and goddesses. Uh, oracle from Blue Angel uh, Publishing. I'm also using their Guan Yin uh, Oracle, their Blue Angel Oracle, the Archangel Michael-based one, and the Whispers of Love. So it feels like all of my oracles are, um, are that company. I really like this company a lot. So let's get up in this gig, right? Focus on your breath, stay in the present moment, I'll do the same. Let's see what I can get you. Breathe. I think you're gonna like this. You're even getting like tarot timeline, past, present, future, divine masculine, divine feminine, using my two tarot decks. So this will be fun. Let's see how this goes. All right, uh, my angels, gods, and goddesses, please. Uh, I need one card in clarity from uh, the angels, gods, and goddesses oracle for this Taurus collective sun, moon, rising, Venus sign for this new moon in Virgo to full moon next in Taurus, September into October 2020. What is the general energy that they need to be aware of? Who is the angel, the god, or the goddess they most need to connect with, work with, be aware of? The goddess of justice, which seems, what seems an injustice, is actually a blessing. Oh, I don't want to touch that with a Taurus. If they feel like they have been wronged, mm, you know, there is a little bookie book on this one. I don't usually do the bookie book, because it kind of says on the card all I think that needs to be said. One would think 
that's all that needs to be said. It's just I never uh, look it up. So we are going to do this alphabetically. One would hope it is written alphabetically. Hold on one second. I just want to get some key words here. Uh, what seems an injustice is actually a blessing. You feel that a certain situation in your life is in some way unfair, yet be assured that justice, which is the natural state of balance inherent in the universe, does exist. Justice is actually the universal law of cause and effect through which all things in life is kept in balance. Okay. All right. Uh, the recent event which you perceive to be unfair is actually a blessing in disguise, here to guide you towards your higher purpose. It is understandable that you cannot see the blessing at this time. However, the goddess of justice is asking you to surrender the strong emotions and resentments you've attached to this situation. Oh, sure. On a waxing moon, why not? Trust, says exclamation point, uh, by letting go of this issue, she will help clear your path and create the space for something wondrous to occur. Now, personally, when I need justice, I go to the goddess Athena. She is my goddess of justice or goddess Themis, T-H-Y-M-I-S, -T Themis, which is with Themyscira. That's, that's, that's Paradise Island, man. So, you know, if you want an actual goddess, go to your goddesses of justice. Now, there's also Ma'at, but that's a different kind of justice entirely. So goddess of justice, I mean, I get that. A lot of unfair shit has gone down in my life, too, that I've alchemized the lead into gold over time, learned the lesson, see it as a blessing now. That doesn't mean I have to give people my phone number back, though. No, no, you're on block, you're on block. <laughs> what is my love language? Acts of service, bitch. I am a Virgo. I mean, you're a bitch, necessarily. But maybe you are. Babe in total control of herself. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's ask the Kuan Yin Oracle. I love this deck so much. Uh, from the Divine Feminine, what you need to be aware of, or, you know, this is a, what do I need, right? So, the, what do you need? You need to be aware of that uh, what seems like an injustice is actually a blessing in some way, shape, or form. You may not see that for a while. Even said, you might not see that now. So, uh, Kuan Yin, please take over. What is your piece of compassion, guidance, and grace? The Divine Feminine herself. One card, please, for this Taurus Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for this new Moon in Virgo to full Moon next in Aries. What have you got for them? Considering that Goddess of Justice thing, what is it? The Peace of Guidance, Grace, Clarity, the Ten Sisters of Light. Card number 33. The Ten Sisters of Light. <laughs> Sort of like the mascara. Just kind of saying. Just kind of saying. Got, got, got a little uh, Diana vibe going on here. Uh, one, I think, could say fairly between symbolism and artwork and iconography and just the overall general vibe hanging in the air. 33. Ten Sisters of Light. You are an advanced soul and have lived many incarnations. Shine your light through many different fear, uh, faces. Oh, and shine your light. That should be shown your light. Sorry. Italics. Tiny italics. Shown your light through many different faces. Your soul has learned many skills in past lives, developed abilities and talents. This lifetime is a culminating lifetime in the sense that your soul is drawing together uh, potencies developed over many lifetimes into unified expression. Oh, I get that. So, you know, a butcher, a baker, a candlestick maker, you come together, poof, you open an Ikea. I don't know, something like that. Uh, the, uh, uh, it's like, uh, sorry, it's like drawing on the power of ten sisters or more into one current lifetime. Be prepared to grow and shine, beloved. Let's get you the prayer. Divine Kuan Yin. Om Namaha. I call upon the ten sisters of light that love me unconditionally. I call upon your grace, protection, and assistance now in releasing past life wounds and patterns so that more of my soul light can manifest in present time. Please bless this 
process with your mercy, compassion, and grace. Thank you, beloveds. Om Mani Padme Hum. Well, I'm going to say, in order to access those skills, there's obviously some healing that needs to take place, perhaps through an injustice. Not thrilled by this, but with that goddess injustice, what, what uh, seems an injustice is actually a blessing. In other words, well, if Steve never crashed in the water, right? If there hadn't been a war going on, we wouldn't have gotten Wonder Woman. It's a bit of a stretch, I admit, but metaphors can still make points, even if you got what you metaphor. Breathe. Let's go to the Archangel of Justice then, <laughs> Archangel Michael, which is not technically the Archangel of Justice, really. You want Uriel for that. Come on, he's the guardian of Tartarus. Essentially the 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 <laughs> the parole agent for Hades. Nice deep breath. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Archangel Michael. Please, one card in clarity. We need to cut through this. What's going on here, right? We got that sword, the sword of justice. And usually I consider your sword the sword of truth, the sword of justice here. Very Athena, very Themyscira, very Ten of Sisters. So please, beloved Archangel, Archangel Michael, Angel, uh, Archangel of the South, powers of fire, please show us, show us divine desire here. What is it that they need? This Taurus Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, this new moon in Virgo to full moon next in Aries, September, October 2020. Grace and gratitude, release. Good, 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 good. Grace and gratitude. I love, I love this deck so much they do landscape. I love that. I love that. I love, I love that. I love that something new, something different uh, in a divination system. Grace and gratitude. Release. Release. Now, granted, for me, release tends to be more of a waning moon deal, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Card number 20. Card number 20. 20. 20. Here we go. Release. Let go of frustration and anger and express the love and light that you truly are. So much easier said than done, particularly if you feel like you have been wronged. But they're saying you don't have to see that, but you're going to have to call upon some strengths from the path, uh, past to path to do this. You are a beautiful soul, a beautiful friend loved by so many. Why cloud this love? Let the real you shine through and be grateful for your life and the many blessings that you receive each day. Gratitude will lead you to peace, and peace will in turn lead you to abundance and joy. Focus on the good things in your life and everything else will fall into place. I get what they're saying. I can feel that. Beyond thought, there is a knowing that embraces all knowledge, a knowing that does not divide nor keep one truth from another. Within this knowing, you will find all that you thought was missing. Within this knowing, you will rediscover your beautiful soul. I breathe out and all my frustrations and angers. I breathe out all my frustrations and anger and breathe in the light and love of my soul. In peace there is wisdom. I am peace, I am wisdom. All is well. You may not feel it, but that does make sense. Look. If there really is a larger picture here, you can't see, and I struggle with this myself, right? Plenty have done me wrong. People have withheld information, have just lied, betrayed, deceived. People don't always behave themselves. Well, they behave themselves in front of me, not always behind my back, right? Once they're out of my sight, they think they're out of my mind. <laughs> nope. So I get it. If there really is an injustice that feels like it's going on with you, I support you in that. Uh, we all need to be looking at our, our, our justice and our honor codes and our boundaries and all of that stuff. But that to call upon the Ten Sisters of Light really means that you have had to deal with this before and you have strength in reserves, but it's going to take a yin going inside of yourself. While yang, you really go into grace and gratitude in order to release some of this energy because you're not seeing the whole picture. Who is? All right? Anybody who says they see the whole quantum 24-7-365 is lying and delusional or both. Right? So to go into a practice of grace and gratitude, that is something that you could do 
over a waxing moon period from new to full. Really, just even looking like, I, I mean, this sounds silly, but it's like, ugh, I'm grateful for my skin. Now, just saying those words, you may not feel that right away. Right? But I'm grateful for my skin. I'm grateful for my skin. I want to feel grateful for my skin. That's a Matt Kahn trick. Get in touch with the desire to feel great gratitude and gratefulness and you feel it. It's a bizarre thing. can't believe I didn't know that sooner, right? I want to feel thankful for my skin because where would I be without it? Life would be very ouchy. Life would be very ouchy. I mean, you think, oh, I could wear with soft clothes, but even that would be ouchy without skin. Ooh, I'm very thankful for my skin. Oh, thank God for my skin, right? And that starts, I guess it wouldn't be called Rampage of Appreciation, very uh, Abraham Hicks, but certainly a, a beginning a momentum of gratitude that can release from you. Sometimes what gratitude does is it raises you up to the crown chakra, into the present moment, and you see things differently, a larger picture. Because sometimes you just don't know what you're thankful for until an injustice happens. I'm not saying it's fun. I'm not saying it's great. I don't even say you gotta like it. I say you can out and out resist it. But sometimes that's just the way our souls are meant to grow. I didn't write that rule. Do I look like I would write that rule? Let's keep going. Daughters of the Moon Tarot, the yin. We're gonna do a past, present, future. Just right. This new moon to full moon next. We're gonna put on top of that the divine masculine. So this will be the yin. This will be the yang. You get the drill if you've been watching before. So just like little clues, tips, and hints. Like these may not come out as these gigantic, you know, life changers unless there's a life changer being meant uh, to be here. But that's why, like they kind of said, like to check your other signs because these might interconnect with other things, right? So. Uh, this is obviously about an injustice. The previous one was about information being withheld in Aries. So maybe there's some connection there. Maybe not. Breathe. Surf in the quantum, mining the fields. Here we go. <laughs> oh, my goddesses, please. I need three cards. Simple timeline, past, present, future for this Taurus Collective. Sun, moon, rising, Venus sign for this new moon in Virgo to full moon in Aries, September into October 2020, please. Where has this Taurus collective sun, moon, rising Venus sign been? Doesn't mean necessarily in the timeline, but where have they been relative to the cards that are on the table? I'll take this one. Thank you. One card. Uh, one card for, hey, one card for uh, the present, right? Where are they now uh, in this particular timeline, uh, new moon to full moon next, or at least the time they're watching this. One card, please. Just the one. Nope, that's two. So close. No cigar. Please just leave it in my hand, my goddess, please. With the Taurus Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. There we go. Oh, good. You almost had the hermit there. <laughs> Breathe. My goddesses, please, one card in clarity. Where are they headed in this simple timeline for this new moon to full moon next September, October 2020? There we go. A little bit of work, but worth it. Let's see who we got here. Well, you got some major arcana cards. You got the Wheel of Fortune followed by the Chariot that leads you to the Four of Pentacles. Security. I like this. So, um, where you've been in this, it's been a turn of the wheel. Things have changed. Things have moved forward. Something that was written, something that was scripted, something that you may have known about before you came into this life, something that you may have known about that was coming anyway. It can be a cyclic change, right? A birthday. Uh, uh, something that was scheduled to happen legally or otherwise, uh, a transition of some kind, but something definitely written. And of course, alchemizing fate to destiny is uh, sort of what that grace and gratitude thing is talking about here, right? Especially with that goddess of justice. There might have been a scheduled injustice in your life in order for you to find a new sense of balance, right? That is a blessing to you in the larger picture. Can't see it now, though. And I feel like the more you can get it, it couldn't have happened any other way. It couldn't have happened. It was scripted that way. That was the version I need to live out in the quantum. Okay, it's part of the divine plan. It's developing something. I hate it. It sucks. It's okay. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. I want to slash tires. I want... Don't do that stuff. But you're completely worthy of feeling it. Those voices in you need more love and not less. And that's what's going to get you into what I call the Wonder Woman card of the Amazon here. The chariot moving forward with this, channeling that power. Channeling it in a balanced way that brings you to what? Four of Pentacles security. Now, maybe that means you play your cards close to your chest, right? If there is something, I'm not saying don't take action. In fact, you're going 
to take some kind of action, but make sure you are in that place of at least grateful, even if it's a raging grateful, right? That you're just like, well, I'm thankful for my family and I'm thankful for the people who love me and for the people that you, you're you going to have to do that to open your heart to call upon these 10 sisters of light within you. It's, it's sort of like this injustice happened for you to access past life skills, if you want to look at it that way. Soul skills, if you prefer uh, that word, like a soul sword. <laughs> very new mutants. <laughs> I remember when that came out in print. Uh, uh, we're, we're really looking at a very, very interesting reading here, but Four of Pentacles, I mean, you may not be, uh, to quote the banana splits, la 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 one banana, two banana, three banana, four, but you got the Four of Pentacles, right? You, you've got that foundation, that stability, that, that well that doth not run dry. Yeah, walking around with your titties out, with your jars, getting water. Sounds like a, sounds like a day. Let's see. How does this look on the outside, right? That's all inside. That's all yin. My gods. What's the yang? What's going on on the outside here? Where have they been? In, uh, well, I mean, this might really, really be the past before even the new moon in Virgo. But can you please clarify that card of the Wheel of Fortune of where they've been with this? Oh, here we go. Two of Cups. All right, so this might have involved an attraction. Usually Two of Cups is a romantic uh, entanglement of some kind, particularly with the faded thing. This could have been from a long time ago. Remember, past, present, future isn't always week by week by week, right? This might be that this was a faded, uh, uh, written into the script, Wheel of Fortune kind of thing. The Spider Woman has woven this into the tapestry of your life in the past. So Two of Cups, some sort of... Um, emotional attraction. Uh, moving forward, now I get with the goddess of justice there, something is out of balance. Uh, what seems like an injustice is actually a blessing. Oh, we've got a rough one on the table. Please, my gods, clarify this. Uh, Amazon, please. Oh, with the magician. Oh, be careful. Be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful with playing with justice magic. I will tell you why the best that I can do is go before the gods and lay it on the altar and say, here's what I've experienced. You know this already. Here's what I think. Here's what I feel. You know this already. Please show me what you would have me do or take this away from me because <laughs> I want vengeance, right? To be totally honest before your gods, right? But know that that this is an initiation thing too, right? It's like the, the magician is the first card of the major arcana. So to really initiate something with, make sure that your motivation and your inspiration are balanced. Motivation does come from fear, inspiration from love. That you're trying to like balance that out, that you don't go half cocked. I do feel like you are going to really have to call on some soul power here. This is all happening to make you stronger. I mean, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, which unfortunately is true. But in this case, stronger like Four of Pentacles strong, right? So please, my gods, can you clarify that for the Taurus Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign? This new moon to full moon next September, October 2020. Brings you to the Emperor. Brings you to the solidity, the stability, the security of the Emperor. As a result, perhaps, of you really channeling this Amazon energy in a very clear and healthy way. Now look, We've already got grace and gratitude on the table, that card of release, and I get that. What you're going through sucks. That's going to help you release it, and it's going to take some divine yin, some divine feminine, maybe even calling upon friends that you consider sisters of light. Light is truth. That's why I wish people would get out of this, this thing of, ah, love and light, love and light, it's so fluffy. Light can burn, light can scorch, light can wound, right? Light is truth, right? When not filtered, when not, I mean, not completely obscured, not lying, but truth without compassion is brutality, <laughs> the Dalai Lama, right? There's a lot on the table here. Just got to say that particularly you've got um, one, two, three, four out of six major arcana cards in a simple timeline big deal. Be careful. Be careful, be careful, be careful. So let's find out. The higher selves of all involved. Your higher self, what they got to say about all this. Uh, higher selves, fifth dimension and above. Breathe. <laughs> <sighs> Breathe. 
the higher selves of all involved, please. One card in clarity, a whisper of love from the Whispers of Love Oracle for this Taurus Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign in this, uh, for this, I should say, new moon in Air, uh, Virgo to full moon in Aries, September, October 2020, please. What is the piece of higher self, fifth dimension and above higher self guidance and grace, piece of inspiration, information, or insight for this Taurus here? I can feel that injustice. I can feel the need for the support, for the power of those skills of those ten sisters of light to help them focus and find the gratitude and the grace to release some of this. Nothing wrong with being angry, nothing wrong with it, it just has to be handled clearly. And this is about another person, two of cups, that it was faded. Whatever the injustice is, it involves a two of cup, and we know that does not go well. Uh, but it is scripted, there's something to be learned here, right? There's actually a blessing in this somehow. And right now, with that card of, of, oops, I got these reversed, with the card of the Amazon there, with the magician on top of it, I mean, look at that. That's saying the decision is yours. How do you want to do this? Use your free will wisely, Taurus, because you have the possibility of really being in control here, right? People may or may not like the card of the emperor, but it's definitely amassing power and channeling it in hopefully a wise way like Zeus. Well, thrower of lightning, thrower of truth, but with that four of pentacles, maybe holding on to that in, in strength and security, holding that secure right now, because it feels like the damage here could be pretty high. So please, the higher selves of all involved, what is your whisper of love to them? Do something for someone else. Give your attention to someone else. That's an interesting take. That's an interesting take. Distract. Do something for someone else. Maybe that will help you give you that sense of balancing the scales, right? Now, you could say, well, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to call the cops on them. That's doing something for them so they can't do it. Right. Now, maybe if that's your guidance, if that's your grace, if it really goes that way. Um, but my sense is, is really build up that grace and that gratitude, right? Really find the release that comes from deliberately shifting your mind. You're not spiritually, it's not emotional bypassing if you are really acknowledging, no, I have been wronged and I want to work my way through this wisely and well. So what am I clear of? What am I truly grateful for in my own values? Because you can still have great compassion, right? Calling upon the Ten Sisters of Light to love yourself through whatever feelings need to go on here to help you get to the blessing that is yours. But from your own higher self saying, do something for someone else. Thank you. I didn't even wiggle my nose on that one. Uh, uh, that that really is saying, get out of your soul a little bit, right? Like, and I'm sure you're Earth sign, you're serving all the time, but to do something for someone else, to give your attention to someone else, might uh, might actually give you some of the more perspective, particularly if you're giving your attention and doing something for someone who has less. You know, it's just it's that thing. It's that thing of saying, okay, as as, as fucked up as that injustice is, this one's worse. Oh, that feels really good and something very proactive that you could do. Oh, oh, oh. Last card down. No uh, extendeds on these. I'm taking, I'm taking a break from the extended. They hurt my head. <laughs> I love them though. As I said, the one healing tool, the, uh, the Matt Kahn healing mantra deck from the Ascended Masters. Nice deep breath. Because yes, indeed, my Ascended Masters, I feel it. Like, we're all looking at social injustice, racial injustice. We're looking at a lot of balancing of scales on planet Earth, right? Like, what's just in the governments and the yikes, what's going on on planet Earth? So I can feel the collective nature of this, right? And I really ask for the perfect healing mantra for this Taurus collective sun and rising Venus signs and as they heal this within themselves they help everybody heal through life right through all of us being one thing unity consciousness oh, they're doing their work I didn't even have to wiggle my nose 
So please, my Ascended Masters, one card in clarity. What is the perfect healing mantra then for this uh, new moon in Virgo to full moon next in Aries? Considering uh, what we've got on the table here, invoking self-realization. Each breath confirms how awake I already am. Oh my God, that's so perfect. Focus on your breath. I'll read this to you. But to get that, every breath is guaranteed to you. Even when your last breath in this life leads to the next breath in your next life, right? That fast. Breath is life. You are given everything that you need here. But this is definitely saying that regardless of the journey, there's a real evolution here. A real healing for you in a spiritual way that I don't think would ordinarily, uh, uh, you would connect it this way. Um, but it is talking about unity consciousness. So obviously what, um, what seems to be an injustice here may very well give birth or an opportunity to a greater balance and justice through your own power. Invoking self-realization, each breath confirms how awake I already am. And I want you to stick a pin in that word awake because we're not just talking about what do you mean awake? I'm awake, I'm not sleeping. You can tell I've been doing this for decades. What do you mean, awake? I'm awake. I you know. I love you, though. Uh, no, awake, aware, woke, right? Like, we're going through a lot on planet Earth right now. I'm aware. I, I know that it's not just me on planet Earth. I know that there's that spiritual awakening thing going on. Self-realization is a spontaneous remembrance of your interconnection to all that is. So, one breath one life moving through all life forms as one breath. You are willing to embrace your individuality as a unique expression of source and physical form. By aligning with breath, you see that while you appear to be a person, it is the universe that breathes everything into existence. This mantra is ideal for reducing stress, managing pain, and relaxing the nervous system, which is part of what the blessing is, certainly, but will also help you rev down from taking physical, volatile vengeance rather than uh, really working uh, in a way with this unity consciousness, working with the breath to bring yourself to a place of much more power than you had before with the emperor, um, and maybe even external power, right? In, in terms of physical power, of uh, helping to bring this into a, a, a more peaceful, balanced, just outcome, but one where certainly the Four of Pentacles means that there is some stability and security in there, and apparently uh, my Melchior agrees, who is my Taurus kitty. I'll take that as a coincidence, as a, a synchronicity. Hey, booger. Come here. Come here. No, he's, he, he holds and he doesn't like to be picked up. So he, he's like a little boulder. My medicine ball with black cat hair. So, uh, let me put it together for you. Um, we've got the goddess of justice saying that, yep, what you think of it as, as an injustice is really a blessing. Kuan Yin, you're gonna call upon, go within and call upon your past lives, right? Call upon all those skills you've garnered in other lives to help you with that gratitude and grace, to help you release that calling upon the soul power you've been through worse. See, that's the thing, the soul has lived through, <laughs> your breath has been through worse, right? The breath of life has been all of it, right? Really invoke your self-realization here um, because, yeah, I get there. There's this could easily be a romantic entanglement, something that had to happen that was very, very unfair, right? Two of Cups in the past, but written. That's why there has to be a blessing with the alchemy here that you have the free will, the magician, you could well, I mean, my guide said to me, blessings are curses. It's all the same to the gods and the archangels. It means like things we think of as blessings end up being curses and vice versa, right? Curses end up being blessings, um, which I think is indicative here with this card, uh, the, the angel of justice, right? Sorry, the goddess of uh, justice. But with this card of the magician and the chariot, ooh, just be careful. It's, the, it's a Cancerian card. Don't let your emotions drive the show, right? You have the ability to channel that and channel that in a very, right, with the breath invoking self-realization, each breath confirming how awake you are, to bring you into that place of the Emperor, the Zeus card, with uh, the Four of Pentacles, that stability. Perhaps holding on to your power, perhaps shielding, protecting and holding that within, but maybe that's the thing that you're doing for somebody else while you invoke your self-realization, each breath uh, confirming how awake 
you already are. And there is something very beautiful about there. And maybe you become even more awake and even more aware. And that's the blessing. So there you have it. Uh, my uh, Taurus Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. May you be blessed with all that you need. This... Uh, this Virgo full moon to Aries new moon next, that you might find the stability by being the Amazon in the chariot response with this two of cups that seems very destined in the past to stay awake with your breath invoking self-realization, doing for something for somebody else as you get that stability and power by now making the decisions to manage that chariot wisely and well by finding the grace and gratitude by calling upon the ten sisters of light, those potentialities and those powers from your other lives in order to really transform this injustice into the blessing that it already is that it already is that you may see it and receive it wisely and well for your well-being, your healing, and for the well-being of all and healing of the well-being of all. So mode of being. And so it is. That was a very, very interesting read, but now you know what you need. So again, please, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if it hit you that way. It's like, oh, that's interesting. I want to see, you know, what else this guy's got. Do check out your other signs. Everything's in playlists on my main channel. So wishing you the very, very best and the very blessed of it all. And certainly if you'd like a private reading, I'm easy enough to find. Just find me on Facebook. This way you can pay me on Facebook right on uh, in the Messenger, and I can do the reading right there on video call. It's easy enough to do, but I'll also do Skype and telephone until we're in a better place on planet Earth, you know what I mean. Cool, cool. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so very much, my fellow Earth signs. Hail, farewell, and blessed, blessed be.